welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a very, very exciting video because today is my first Christmas related video of the year. Now you guys know I do a lot of wish related sort of like fashion videos on this channel, but never have I ever done a wish gift video. Now I'm sure you guys already know by now that on wish you can find so many weird and wonderful things, but they do actually also have quite a lot of gift ideas for Christmas, which is amazing. Some of these items look a little bit dodgy. Some of them look quite promising but I thought I'd basically put them to the test for you guys. All of these are very inexpensive, so I don't really have high hopes, but we're gonna see together. Also, before we jump straight into the video, I do actually have a vlog channel for those of you who don't know. It's called Roxy and Matt, where I vlog over on there with my fiance, and we recently actually went to Lapland, so I thought I would let you guys know because this is quite a Christmassy video, so if you guys are up for watching some Christmassy vlogs, and then I'll roll a little clip of the vlog. It's honestly amazing. Like, Matt is so, so talented when it comes to, like, drone shots, and that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna roll a little clip of the vlog right now, and if you guys wanna check out the full thing, I'll link it in the description, but if you guys wanna skip this little, like, preview, then skip to this time. We're gonna go over our time at the hot tub. Oh my god, yeah, we've <laughs> only got an hour and a half here. Whoa! I always thought that people photoshopped, like, all the different shapes of the Northern Lights. What the f Look at that over the horizon. Oh my vlog i hope you guys liked it if you want to watch the full thing like i said make sure you click the description link there will also be some very christmasy vlogs coming soon as well as a part two of the finland vlog so if you guys want to check that out make sure you guys subscribe to the roxy and matt channel if you guys want to see what gifts i picked up from wish then let's get on into the video Okay, so the first item I have is a little moonlight. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this all over like Instagram. People often like use them for photos and photo shoots. And I've always wanted a little like moon lamp like this. So here is the photo of the listing. As you can see, it looks fairly decent size. It looks about that big when people are holding it in their hands. This cost me £10.45 and this is what has arrived. And uh, to say the least, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the size. I'm pretty sure I got the biggest size that was available so they were clearly using some other like moon lamp photos because this is nowhere near as big as the photo. Anyway the packaging looks really nice actually it's quite presentable I feel like this would be a really nice gift for someone who loves like the space astrology that kind of thing and it presents itself really nicely even though it's from Wish. So the moons usually come with like different color sort of options this one comes with two different colors so it has the like pale moon color but it's also got like the more yellowy sort of moon color. Let's take a look at it inside. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Oh my God. <laughs> what? This is tiny. Are you kidding? That is so small. I mean, come on, Wish. Expectations versus reality much. It does come with like the little base as well to kind of like support the moon. Let's try and put that together. This looks like some kind of jigsaw puzzle to me. Is this what you're supposed to do? Yes, I got it guys. A little bit snug. Can't get it together. Ooh, okay. I got it together. So this is kind of what it looks like. And then you're supposed to just pop it down and support the little moon inside the base, which I think is actually still really cool. Even though it's such a small moon, it's still nice, it's a nice gift, like a stocking filler or something. So I guess it's now time to turn this thing on. It does come with a charger. It's got like a little plug hole thing and some user guide instructions. Okay, so apparently all you're supposed to do is just press this. Oh my God. Wait, can you guys see? That is so cute. Wait, if I press it again, will it change modes? Wow. Look, can you guys even see that? I feel like it's just so washed. Oh, it turned off. <laughs> I feel like it's so washed out on camera, but that does actually light up. Oh my God, this would make such a nice little stocking filler. I mean, it's not what I expected size wise, but it's still cool nonetheless. I guess my final verdict of this is that it would make a really cool gift. I would definitely love it if I received this for Christmas. And I feel like most like adults and kids would because it's quite a universal gift. The only thing is obviously the size, like it was a little bit misleading on the photo that they used that it was gonna be like this big. And it is very small, but it was only 10 pounds. So I feel like I can't really complain too much. It's still a really cool gift. Okay, so now the next gift I found was so freaking funny. I've seen this on other websites as well. 
well, but this was actually free on Wish. So all you had to do was pay shipping, which I think was like two or three pounds. Basically, this is it. <laughs> it's literally a bit of cardboard and a little bit of plastic. And it says nothing for the person that has everything. It's literally the gift of nothing. Like, you know, when someone says, oh, don't get me anything. I don't want anything. Well, get them this because this is literally getting them nothing. It says, congratulations, you have received the gift of nothing, absolutely nothing. This is the ultimate in minimalism. Less is more, more or less. Nothing is precious, nothing is simple, nothing is sacred. Open the pack and be enthralled when nothing happens. Allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. Savor the moment. Soon you'll discover that nothing really is so much better than something. <laughs> Wow, that got very deep real quick. And then it says above the little bubble of air, it says the gift of nothing is yours to discover. How nice. On the back it says instructions. Step one, carefully open the pack. Step two, experience nothing. And it says contents. The sound of one hand clapping, the hole in the toner, the thing that goes bump in the dark, the sound of a tree falling in a forest when no one is there to hear it, the incident that no one talks about, the bashful achievement. What is this gift? Oh my God, whoever made this is literally a comical genius. It even says warranty and warning. Warranty, this product is guaranteed to do absolutely nothing. If something happens, return for a full refund. <laughs> This is perfect, oh my god. I feel like if you've got some friends who have like banter with or even some family members, this would make such a cool stocking filler. Okay guys, the next item that I just had to buy is this right here. So this I'm sure you guys have seen on the internet. This I'm pretty sure isn't the original like product, but it's basically the like metal 24 karat rose where it's basically just a rose shaped flower made out of like metal and foil and stuff. So it's supposed to last forever, obviously. Obviously this gift would be amazing for not just Christmas. It would be great for like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, if this is actually legit. So I guess let's crack it open and see what's inside. <gasps> wow, that's so cool. Okay, I've gotta say, as soon as I picked it up, I could feel how like light it is and I don't know why but I just expected it to be a little like heavier. It's not made of metal, it's made of plastic. Oh my god. <laughs> It's literally made so cheaply. Wow. I mean, I don't know what I expected. It is wish at the end of the day, but I don't know. I just expected it to be like made of metal and like real like foil and stuff, but it's literally just plastic. It's a plastic rose. It does look a lot better on camera than it does in real life. I do have to give it that. I feel like whoever you gift this to could pop it in a vase or keep it in the box. It's really up to them. I do think it's more of a unique gift rather than just buying flowers because obviously flowers die so quick. So if you got them like a whole bouquet of this, that would be so cool. And I think this was only like four pounds, which is so much more affordable than real flowers that just die anyway. I think I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I really like this gift idea. Okay, the next item I have is so freaking funny and so unnecessary, but I saw it on Wish and I was like, I really need to try this for myself. It's basically a Santa toilet seat cover which was two pounds and apparently over a thousand people have bought this. It literally looks so freaking cute, but it kind of makes me think like it's gonna be really unhygienic. Surely putting any kind of fabric around or near the toilet seat is just not a good idea. Especially if you're a lad, if you know what I'm saying, but <laughs> this is it. So this little Santa head goes over the toilet seat. The top kind of has like a stretchy band inside. Then this part, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to go over the actual like, is it called the basin of the toilet? Like the top bit where the flush is. And then this right here is like a little holder for a toilet roll. Like what? And then this bit is supposed to go around the bottom of the toilet. So it's kind of like a full Santa thing going on here. I don't know how to feel about this. I just really wanted to give it a go to see if it would fit my toilet to see if it's like a universal fit for most toilets. So I guess let's go over to the toilet and try it on. It doesn't actually go on my toilet properly. I mean, this bit is fine. And so is this bit kind of, if only it could go around the back here, but there's just not enough space there. 
But the toilet seat, the actual cover, oh my god, is so cute, but it just won't go over my toilet seat, so I guess it's not universal. Now, the next item I really wanted to try out is this right here. So, as you can see, this is basically like little pyramid boxes that you can form yourself and then put whatever inside. You can maybe pop in some of your family's favorite sweets in there and pop it around the Christmas table, and this is how it comes. So, basically, it's just flat packed inside a little pouch. It does come with some ribbons, so you can tie it yourself, and then these are what the little boxes look like which you can assemble yourself as well I think my favorite one is the reindeer this actually is really nice like it's printed really nicely on some nice thick cardboard and even on the inside it says Merry Christmas I feel like this is such a good packaging idea I've never seen anything like this in like regular supermarkets or anything so this is really cool I've just assembled it and this is what it looks like it looks so freaking cute and the little ribbon at the top and literally you can put whatever inside I feel like this would be really nice packaging for sweets like I said or maybe like a necklace or some jewelry if you're gifting that to your family this year I didn't expect this to be this good this is actually really nice packaging and all of these only cost like two pounds which is so crazy okay so the next item was only four pounds and here is the photo of the listing when I saw this I was like I need to get this to test out for this video it's basically a Lego mug like how freaking cool is that so this came in lots of different colors I got the pink one obviously because I love pink it's basically basically a mug that's got the Lego like texture base all over it and then it comes with 20 separate bricks that you can assemble onto the mug in whatever shape you like so whilst you're having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea you can literally play with your mug which I think is so cool also this is another gift that I feel like will work for so many different age types because we've all played with Lego like let's be honest everyone's had some kind of experience with Lego in their lifetime I guess let's just open it and see how it all works oh my god look how cute that is that is actually so cool it's actually quite a big mug too so then all of the bricks come inside here I'm just gonna pop some random bits of Lego pretty much everywhere look how cool is that to be honest once I've done it once I feel like I probably wouldn't do it again. It's like one of those novelty things. Also, how would this actually go through the wash? You definitely have to pull off all the blocks because that's just not practical to wash it. I feel like this gift would be really cool for actual like teenagers who, you know, don't really make a mess very often. But I think with little kids, I'd be a little bit more worried because as they're playing with the mug, they could totally spill their drink everywhere. So that's probably not the best mix. Okay, so this next gift idea is actually really, really awesome. I think I've seen like an ad of this on Instagram recently where it's basically a box that you open up and as you open it, all of the sides sort of unfold like flat lay. And inside you can customize it to whatever you want. You can print some pictures, you can write little quotes and it's just like a really nice personalized and meaningful gift for someone. So when I saw like the base of it on Wish, I was like I need to get this because this would make such an amazing gift for someone so this was six pounds and it's basically just cardboard like it's literally just a box but it's already pre-cut so that when you open it all of the sides sort of like flat pack oh okay this is interesting <laughs> so basically it's just layers and layers of box and it all goes from like small to medium. So basically this is the base of the box so all of these sides fold up like this and then you can put the cover on top and obviously as you take the cover off all of these sides are just gonna collapse like this. I do have to say this has come a little bit like creased in some areas which is a massive shame because if you're wanting to gift it to someone you wouldn't be happy with like these bent corners would you? It does also come with two little fake flowers, some ribbon and some double sided tape. I mean to be honest I definitely would need to read some instructions on how to put this together because it's literally just layers and layers of cardboard right now and obviously I won't be custom this in this video because that would take me forever but I feel like it is a really cool gift idea so now the very last gift that I got from wish is a really interesting one this is probably my favorite thing from this whole video so basically what it is is this right here it's a panda coin holder so this is actually battery operated I'm gonna have to find some batteries I've no idea if I've got any but this is it and it looks so cute even the box looks so adorable I went for the panda because it was the cutest of the whole lot and basically this is supposed to like take your coin as you place it on top of this piggy bank and it's supposed to talk so I'm really really interested how that's gonna go down okay so that was all of the wish gifts I'm gonna try out for you guys today I really had fun I've never tried wish gifts before I've done obviously like gadgets testing fashion makeup that kind of thing but I've really enjoyed 
enjoyed this. Let me know which one of these items was your favorite and what is on your Christmas wish list this year? Let me know because I'm really struggling for ideas. My family keep asking me, what do you want for Christmas? And I literally have no clue. So give me some ideas down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys do. Please come and join the dinosaur family. We're so close to 4 million and I would love to hit it before the end of the year. I don't think it's gonna happen, but fingers crossed. Also be sure to check out the vlogs over on Roxy and Matt. We put so much effort into the vlogs and a lot of you guys don't even know that that channel exists. So please be sure to follow that as well. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.